In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Hello, everyone. Today is the feast day of St. Charles Luanga, as you may be able to tell from my vestments. He was a martyr for the church. We wear red on the feast days of martyrs. He was martyred in 19th century, what would be Uganda, a brave witness to the faith. And as such, he is the patron saint of uh, Catholic youth in Africa. He was a young man when he was martyred. It's a great model for all youth, my friends, indeed for all Christians, to always bravely witness to our faith. I'd ask you to please keep Graselina Betancourt in your prayers in a special way at today's Mass. This Mass is being offered for Graselina. Uh, please keep her in your prayers and her family at this very difficult time, that they may be comforted, and that she, Graselina, may see the face of Christ in heaven. If you would also please keep in your prayers Francis Glennon. Francis will be buried just a little later today, so please keep her and her family in your prayers as well. My sisters and brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, Mercifully grant that the field which is your church, watered by the blood shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. I will be using the readings set aside this special day for St. Charles Alonga and his companions. A reading from the second book of Maccabees. It happened that seven brothers with their mother were arrested and tortured with whips and scourges by the king to force them to eat pork in violation of God's law. One of the brothers, speaking for the others, said, What do you expect to achieve by questioning us? We are ready to die rather than transgress the laws of our ancestors. At the point of death, he said, you accursed fiend, you are depriving us of this present life, but the king of the world will raise us up to live again forever. It is for his laws that we are dying. After him, the third suffered their cruel sport. He put out his tongue at once when told to do so and bravely held out his hands as he spoke these noble words. It was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of God's laws, I disdain them. For him, I hope to receive them again. Even the king and his attendants marveled at the young man's courage because he regarded his sufferings as nothing. After he had died, they tortured and maltreated the fourth brother in the same way. When he was near death, he said, it is my choice to die at the hands of men with the God-given hope of being restored to life by him. But for you, there will be no resurrection to life. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Had not the Lord been with us, when men rose up against us, then would they have swallowed us alive when their fury was inflamed against us. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Then would the waters have overwhelmed us, the torrent would have swept over us, over us then would have swept the raging waters. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Broken was the snare, and we were freed. Our help is in the name of the Lord who made heaven and earth. Our soul has been rescued like a bird from the fowler's snare. Alleluia, alleluia. 
Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus saw the crowds, he went up the mountain, and after he had sat down, his disciples came to him. He began to teach them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they who mourn, for they will be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they will inherit the land. Blessed are they who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they will be satisfied. Blessed are the merciful, for they will be shown mercy. Blessed are the clean of heart, for they will see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called children of God. Blessed are they who are persecuted for the sake of righteousness, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are you when they insult you and persecute you and utter every kind of evil against you falsely because of me. Rejoice and be glad, for your reward will be great in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. And friends, as I mentioned, uh, we celebrate the Feast of St. Charles the Wanga and his companions today. The readings are certainly well chosen. Uh, we hear about these young people being being brought before uh, the king uh, to um, renounce their faith and refusing to do so. Uh, there's a, quite a very extremely moving passage where one of the brothers walks up, puts out his tongue, and holds out his hands and says, it was from heaven that I received these. For the sake of God's laws, I disdain them, cut them off. From him, I hope to receive them again. How powerful that is. As I mentioned, Charles Luanga and his companions were martyrs for witnessing to the faith in 19th century Africa, what is Uganda. Now this past weekend, uh, we were well red. Red is not only worn on the feast day of martyrs, but also on uh, days in the church that are associated with the Holy Spirit. And perhaps that is not a coincidence that that same color was chosen, my friends. We just celebrated the Feast of Pentecost. Time in the church, we celebrate God's gift to us of the Holy Spirit. What was it that allowed Charles Luanga to have such courage to witness to the faith, despite all the forces against him. Almost in the moment he was baptized, my friends, he was being hounded by the powers that be to renounce his faith. And he was eventually burned to death. You probably cannot get a more painful death than that, my friends. And as the flames consumed him, he had the courage to say to his persecutors, it is as if you are pouring water on me. Please repent and become a Christian like me. Even at his death, as he's being burnt to death, he's talking about how he would gladly suffer it for Christ. Like the Maccabees, putting out your hands, putting out your tongue, take them from me. The Lord gave them to me. From him I hope to receive them again. And even praying for his persecutors, please repent, I want you to be saved too, he's saying to his persecutors. Where did he find the courage to withstand that sort of persecution? Restrained ridicule, hostility, all of it, even the fire. The answer, I believe, is in this, my friends, the Holy Spirit. My friends, one of the gifts of the Holy Spirit, we say there are seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, counsel, understanding, all of these powerful gifts, fear of the Lord, which is really awe of the Lord. But one of them is fortitude, courage. My friends, I believe when our hearts are opened to the Holy Spirit, we know many things. We know that we are never alone. The Lord will never abandon us, even in the most painful and difficult times in our lives. And that he will strengthen us. And Charles Longa believed this, my friends. He knew that God would never abandon him, even as the flames were consuming him. And that same spirit that strengthened Charles Longa and St. Paul, St. Lucy, St. Maximilian Kolbe, all the martyrs of the church, all the saints of the church will give us courage too. Courage to withstand trials we face and witnessing to a faith that is often hostile to it, my friends. In a sense, that's the martyrdom that we are being called to, 
we will likely not in this country be called to martyr to the faith as our brothers and sisters this day are called to martyr to the faith places in the Middle East, in, um, in Asia, uh, in, in Northern Africa, and other places as well. Uh, we likely will not be called to this. We're going to be called to martyr to the faith in the sense that we're going to be ridiculed for it. Um, we'll have a different sort of trial, if you will, in a world that we live in that is often hostile to faith. Let us pray this morning that our hearts will always be open to the precious gift that the Lord gave us, the gift of the Holy Spirit. May we pray, certainly always, that our hearts are not always open to receive it, but then it will spur us on, truly, to action, to witness to him. My friends, united in our love of Christ, united in our desire to witness to Christ in our words and in our actions, we bring our prayers to God. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis. We pray for our Bishop Sean. We pray for all priests that they will bravely witness to the faith. And through their brave witness, they will help lead others to Jesus. For this, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our world that is so fractured at this time. We pray especially for our country at a time when there is great division. We pray that we will be unified, truly that in Christ all will be one. And we pray that we will see the image and likeness of God in everyone. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are suffering from the effects of coronavirus and for all of those who uh, care for them every day, who care for them at home, who care for them in hospitals and nursing homes, who provide care for them in any way, that they will be strengthened by the Lord. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all of those who are sick in mind and body or in spirit. And we pray for all of those who have died. We pray in a special way today for Gasolina Bentoncourt, for whom today's Mass is being offered. We pray for all of those who will die today. We pray for all of those who will be buried today, for Francis Glennon, and for all of those who will be buried today, that all of them may truly see the face of Christ in heaven and know his light and his peace. For them we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for all those intentions we hold in the quiet of our hearts. For these, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, your love for us knows no bounds. You have given us the great gift of the Holy Spirit that we may know peace, wisdom, counsel in this world, and also be strengthened, strengthened to share the good news. May our hearts always be open to the Holy Spirit. May we always have that great gift of courage through the Holy Spirit to witness to our faith as Charles Luanga and his companions did. We ask you to hear and answer our prayers and to grant them according to your will. Through Christ our Lord, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, we become to share and drink with you, to remember the sacrament, to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and repentant heart, we ask you to bless us and bless you for us. Lord, wash me from my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at thy hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. We offer you this sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than to sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord, our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Charles the Wanga, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Sean, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all. We pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May the receiving of the body and blood of Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us, in the face of trials, steadfast in faith and in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a brief announcement, my friends. Uh, we will be having a live stream mass uh, this afternoon. If you go to our website, and especially our Facebook page, it will be Facebook Live. It is a prayer for the preservation of peace and justice. Uh, certainly, uh, the news has been filled with uh, stories of great uh, division uh, and injustice. And so we are going to offer the Mass. We have a special Mass in our church for preservation of peace and justice that will be offered today. So certainly to pray uh, for all of those who are being affected and for the um, safety, certainly, of our communities for all. That will be on our Facebook page, Facebook Live, uh, this, this evening, probably this afternoon. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord with our lives. Thanks be to God.